So Spencer, you did something really unique for an NBA athlete and you started your own sneaker brand, Kairos. What happened is a company called Project Dream kind of facilitates the, the tools to be able to build stuff, specifically your own brand, obviously. And um, they needed a proof of concept, per se. And, you know, I was crazy enough to, to take that chance and, and to do it. So tell me a little bit about where the name Kairos came from. Kairos is actually uh, Zeus's youngest son. Kronos was his father and meant time chronologically, you know, in order. Whereas Kairos means like the most opportune time or, or like the, the right moment. And I kind of felt like it was fitting for my brand. Although today you're wearing some Vans. Oh, yeah. Is that kind of your California <laughs> casual style? Yeah, yeah. Off the court, I'm probably in some Vans. Uh, to keep it really Cali, I might even have some barefoot shoes on. But um, on the court, it's, it's all me. Right. And in collaborating with this design process, you joined up with an artist, Troy Cole. How did that come to be? Um, we wanted to do something kind of innovative, and we're really committed to doing charity auction shoes for, for the Game One pairs to fund uh, my foundation scholarship program. And uh, so we customized each and every pair um, with something uh, specific to that, that city that we were playing. Um, and, and that's just kind of how it all came together. I heard that you sketched as a kid. I mean, are you good at it? Yeah, so I'm, I'm decent. Um, I'm not like a great artist in general, but I can actually draw shoes and I drew the actual uh, shoes that, that I play in now. Both, both versions, actually. And I think also what we want to know is when did you find time to go study design in China? Um, so really, I mean, as an NBA player in the summer, you, you, have a, you have a good block of time where as long as you're keeping up with your train, you can kind of travel and do certain things. Uh, we're not like uh, hamstrung or married to a specific spot. We can kind of be mobile. And so, you know, as long as I'm training, I can kind of be anywhere. Now, I want to know any pairs this season that really have a sentimental value for you? Oh, um, on December 8th, I, I wore all purple shoes. Um, those aren't obviously a specific design, but me and my grandmother's favorite color uh, was purple. and. You know, her birthday was December 8th, and so it was, a, it was a big day. And plus, shoot, we beat the hell out of the Knicks in the garden that day, too. So it was a great day. Um, and can you give us a little sneak peek or a little taste of what's to come next season? Ooh, nah, not yet. No, not yet? Not yet. Anything, any color palettes, any color ways? Nothing? Not yet. Aw, oh, man. Stay tuned. Okay, so make sure you guys stay tuned next season so we can see all of his kicks on the court.